Um, we're going to kind of go over it the same way we did as before. So each of the stations with specifically what each level is doing. Um, I wanted to do this one first though. This is the wobble board station um, since it is, you know, it's a board and it wobbles. Um, that's kind of the only name we could come up with. Um, this will be by the wall. It will be, a, it's out of frame. It's over here past a little bit. It's closer to the ladder that's on the wall. Um, please keep it near the wall. That way they can use the wall to help them stand up onto this because although it's thick here in the middle, obviously it will rock back and forth. Um, so making sure that they're safe getting up there um, and then they can try and take their hands away if they want to if um, but make sure it stays by the wall and they use the wall until they are fully comfortable not to um, they can rock back and forth they can try and go like in a circle forward backward okay they're just trying to balance as best as they can on this um, so this will be over by the wall and that is the wobble board station for the entire group of levels so moving on to this carpet beam over here. We are going to do, we're going to hold the hula hoop um, at our, whoop, we're going to hold the hula hoop at our legs. So in yellow, they will come in it rather than it being above their head. And they're going to hold it down by their sides and they're going to balance their other foot at their ankle. If that's too easy, then they can try the other foot also. Um, and then green, they're going to be balancing in releve with it above their head. So their hands will be on the inside and above their head. I'm too tall, but it will be above their head. And they're going to try and hold in releve as high as they can. Okay, and then red is doing this also, but they will do pivot turns back and forth. Okay, just holding on to that. Right here, this is our seesaw beam. Obviously enough, it does go back and forth. Um, normally, we don't have any issues with this. But please just remind them that it does move and to be extra careful. Um, yellow will walk forward. Either arms out or arms up is totally fine. So they get all the way down here. Then they're going to walk sideways for green, so arms out to the side or on their hips as they go over. That one may be a little bit difficult as they come over to stay on. And then red will walk backwards. So arms out or hands on their hips and they'll walk backwards till they tilt and get down safely. This next beam with the sharks on it, yellow will do, swing their arms and try and jump over it, try and keep their feet together, but also feet slightly coming apart is okay for yellow. For green, they will need to one foot, so good foot potentially, but both feet are welcome to be tried. So they'll jump and try and stay on one foot all the way over the sharks. Then red, they will do leaps. So they start with their foot over the shark and then they jump to that foot that's over the shark. So then they switch, go back to that first foot, jump over it, go back to that foot, jump over it. So try and hold one before and one after. Right here, everyone is doing the same thing just to work on their coordination skills. They're going to try and crawl all the way under the beam without touching this guy and trying to stand up on this other side without touching the ground. So really trying to maneuver their bodies to stay on the beam no matter what. So that's for everybody. Right here, this one, four, yellow. They're going to walk and bend down and touch the top of each one. Okay, so that way it's a little bit easier for them so they can get a little lower and it's not as hard to balance on one foot. So they're going to touch each and every cone on the way down and then they can walk back. So then green will do the same thing except they are going to tap it with the top of their foot. So they will actually have to bend this base leg to then touch the cone. And touch it the whole time, all the way down to the end of the beam. And then red, Red will do the same thing except moving backwards. So they will walk, and as they see it in front of them, they will tap it. So they'll bend and tap, they'll keep walking till they see a cone, and then they'll tap it. So they'll keep walking till they see a cone, tap it the whole way down. So that is one, two, three, four, five.
follow board will be six over here by the wall. Again, highly encourage your kids to stay at their station until you say rotate um, and make sure that they are putting in the effort how you want them to and not just how they take what you say. So if you say jump over one foot, try and make sure they're really jumping with one foot and that's it. So every time they don't do that, you don't necessarily have to get on them. Um, but remind them like, hey, that was, that was an awesome try, but you're supposed to be doing it on one foot. That way they don't start to get into the habit of feeling like if you don't see what they're doing, it's right. So then they get confused on what they're actually doing versus what they think they're doing. Um, but these ones should be keep them entertained pretty well. Um, and you shouldn't have to worry about too much spotting wise. Um, the yellows may need a hand to hold this first time um, as they walk across this high beam, but normally they get better at it doing it by themselves. So 